it's super cold in here. I don't know why we keep it arctic, but if I had a nickel for every time somebody said that they're cold in my house, I would have $3.85. So today is a shading tutorial on the eyes. I know what you're thinking. A tutorial on the eyes? You did that last week. You don't have to watch my video. Please keep watching. But it's different. This time we are drawing people eyes and I mentioned last week how drawing them is similar. So I kind of just want to show you how they are. I digress. First things first, you can immediately see I have a piece of paper under my hand. And now I am outlining where the darkest parts of the eye are going to be. Like I said before, it will be the cast shadow from the upper eyelid and then the pupil. Also note that I did draw where the highlight is going to be. Now you see me going in with the blending stump. Here I'm just adding shading to the whites of the eyes because the whites of the eyes are never completely white. So I have the main layer shaded, and now I just go back in, make it darker and darker using my tortillon, the blending stump, and then a softer grade pencil. The reason why I outlined the highlight is so I know not to put any graphite there, because later if I wanted it to get whiter, you can't always erase that graphite you put down. Here using a 10B pencil to make that cast shadow under the eyelid. Using a tortillion to outline the fine lines around the eye. And once again, the blending stump when trying to make a softer blend. The softer blend is important for making things realistic. It's all about building value. So I just continue this process. I repeat this process over and over again until the eye looks the way that I want it to, using all the same tools that I've been using since the beginning. I did use an eraser, the Mono Zero, to define the highlight and give it better shape. Now coming up, this is my favorite part. This is where I add the blackest pencil that I have. And what I do is I really define those shadows and you can just see how the eye just becomes so much more realistic. I use the ebony to create this effect. Just to recap, I used a 2B pencil to begin and by the time I finished, I was using a 12B and then an ebony pencil and of course my erasers. And that's it. Please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and let me know what you wanna see next.